What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Plugin Tut, your home for handcraft and WordPress plugin tutorials. Back with another tutorial, this time still the low budget, still no FaceTime on the camera and cool transitions and awesome uh, overlays. I would go in straight to the point because this is like a public service announcement if you're just getting started with WordPress and there's a whole bunch of things here that I want to cover and I know y'all love me to just get right to the meat of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with friends and family. Query Monitor, that's the plugin we're going to talk about today. From a 50,000 foot view, if you've never heard of this developer tool before, it's going to give you the insights of to what your WordPress site is doing with your themes and your plugins, or I should say the effect that your themes and plugins have on your WordPress site. So who needs to know about this? Well, if you're an advanced developer, you probably already know about this. But if you're somebody who's just building sites for clients, uh, you're responsible for your WordPress website at your place of business, and people say to you, hey, the site's running slow, or you're designing a site and you're like, my God, why won't it take the styles that I'm trying to apply to my headline? And you wanna figure out what's happening when you install a bunch of plugins, that's what this plugin is for. The other half of this is to so <laughs> sort of show you uh, how the Astra theme works. And, and really, this, what, this is what popped into my head because I was going to do a video about Astra and its starter sites and how awesome and quick it is to be able to design a site using Astra. And then I, it dawned on me like, man, it installs a lot of plugins all at once. And to the inexperienced person, this could become a problem. Uh, and I'll talk about that as we move along. So... Installing Query Monitor, you just search for it, you install it, you activate it. And as soon as you activate it, you'll see a critical piece uh, that drops in the WordPress admin toolbar up top. Now again, I am not a developer, but I do use this tool often to debug what's happening to websites or WordPress sites. And you can see right out of the gate, there's a bunch of information that we have here now. And I'm gonna go to the front end. And if you are a simple power user like me, the most critical pieces you're looking for you can see right out of the gate, scripts and styles. Like we all know that when you have added scripts on a website, it could potentially slow down the site, right? Depending on what these scripts are doing, how many are being called, how large the payload is, that could have a direct effect on the speed and performance of your site. And right out of the gate, Query Monitor allows us to see that at least on the 2019 theme with this homepage with a single post, there are eight scripts being called. We can see where they're being called from the header and the footer. We can see what the handle is or the names of them are and what the source is, right? That's the most basic, uh, you know, need to know areas here. So again, we can see that 2019 theme is calling some JavaScript or a couple points here. And then of course, core uh, WordPress is calling some JavaScript and then the query monitor is calling some JavaScript. Now, if you're a designer, if, if, you're, if you are a designer and you're trying to style stuff, you go to the styles drop down and you can see all of the styles that is being called from just this theme or other plugins uh, as you'll see in a moment so if you're trying to you know debug those styles what's what's happening why is it what's getting overridden here and what why is my design not looking the way i need it to query monitor can really help you with that okay so those are the two the first two areas that i uh, would like to call out the second would be just the general overview right so sort of like a google page speed um scenario where you can see how long it took the page to generate, um, what the peak memory usage might have been, right? Uh, how much memory it actually took to render this page, what the database query time is, and the total database queries is 31 in this case. So 31 total queries to the database, which you can see under the queries tab, uh, were made to render this page. Okay, so I'm not going to dive into queries and, and how that all works, because quite honestly, I don't know every little detail about that, but we know that there's 31 of them. Uh, and the more that there are, the potential uh, impact that has on performance. This might vary depending on what web, you, web host you're on. Um, it's just saying external object cache not in use. I don't have uh, at this particular moment uh, a Redis object caching in place, uh, but the um, uh, you can enable that, which would help with uh, uh, object caching. Okay, we're not going to dive too deep into that. So that's it. That is a, a query monitor in a nutshell. Quickly see what's happening uh, within your WordPress site. How does a theme and plugins affect the load of my site? So that's important, again, for anybody coming to you, if you're a consultant or somebody working at a, at a company with a site, and they're saying, geez, uh, things are moving slow. What's going on? Query monitor can help you determine that. And... 
what is often forgotten is that as you scale a site, it's also important to understand what's loading in the back end, right? What's happening in the back end of my WordPress site uh, when I start to grow this, this e-commerce store, this membership site? Because now you have people who are visiting the site who you need to be mindful of. And then you have people who are in the back end who are not admins, but they're adding content. They're managing a store for you. They're proofing blog posts. And Query Monitor is going to be powerful here because now you can see just in the back end. Now, I did just enable Astra, but it only bumps this up uh, a smidgen. But now you can see there's 38 scripts and 25 style sheets being loaded in the back end. Now, super basic site, not much impact here, but it's very important that you're you're aware of it, that you're cautious to it. And let's talk about why. And let's talk about the good and bad of the Astra theme. Now, Astra, super lightweight, that's what they're really known for. They're known for working really well with page builders, and they have this awesome plugin that you can activate, which I'm doing right here, to enable starter sites. And any of these free sites that you see here of course, that is if you use the free sites, you can also purchase a, a license. And again, I'll link all of this stuff up below. Um, but if I, let's say I went to e-commerce, that's probably a better example. And right here, I have this dropdown where it can install these templates to be compatible with Elementor, with Gutenberg, with Beaver Builder, with Breezy. And when you activate one of these, let's go ahead and preview this. This is a free one. This is the, the demo of, of this example site. And when I go ahead and import this site, it's going to install every single plugin I need, which includes Elementor and WooCommerce in this case. All the other plugins they use for the display um, and for the functionality of the site, the content and the widgets. So let's go ahead and hit that. And number one, pretty awesome, right? Super easy. You can build these sites out so darn fast. You can get this nice preview. You can see it in your browser and Astra makes it dead simple to do that. I click this button. It's installing all this stuff. Really cool. It finished. So now I'm going to go and view the site. So now we see we have our home page and everything was imported, the content, the images, the widgets, the Elementor layout. It installed Elementor with, uh, with that import. Pretty awesome. Now let's just take a quick look at the amount of scripts. So I believe the numbers were eight and seven when we had just uh, the core 2019 theme installed. Now you can see we've now significantly bumped up that number to 29 and 23. Now this is a full-fledged uh, Elementor site with WooCommerce. And that's sort of my point here is when you start to install a bunch of plugins to get a bunch of features on the site, I know that this is, might be common knowledge for most people, but if you're brand new to this stuff, this is the kind of impact it has uh, on your site. And if we take a look at the overview, you can see, uh, I believe before we were at like 0.06 for page generation time, and now we're at 0.8. Uh, so almost a full uh, second there to generate this page. And the memory usage went up drastically. Uh, I think we we're around five and a half megs before, and now we're at 39.6. Uh, total database queries now, I believe before they were 31, now they're 155 to render this page. Now, don't let it all frighten you because with good caching and optimization, we can, you know, get away from uh, uh, the, the worry of page rendering. And it's, it's rendering pretty quickly here uh, for our purposes. But all of this stuff is amplified once you start to grow a site. Generally, everything is, you know, like they say about shared hosting, everything's fine in the beginning until you start to get traffic and the business is making money. And now all of a sudden you have all of these people bombarding your site and you using it in the front end and buying stuff. And then all of these people in the back end who are constantly updating orders, editing content, writing a blog, and all of that sort of combines into uh, a potential bottleneck or it all filters down to a potential bottleneck in performance. Excuse that motorcycle uh, going by. But anyway, the point of Query Builder is to give you these insights and to let you know uh, what is happening uh, with the site itself. So we can again go and see all the different styles that are being loaded. And one other critical point to this is I'm logged in. So as a logged in user, yeah, there's going to be some other 
elements that are being loaded, some other scripts and potentially some other styles. Uh, so how do we check as a logged out user? So I'm going to pull up the uh, query monitor bar. I'm going to click on this settings page here or the settings icon. And I'm going to clear the authentication cookie. And then set the authentication cookie. And then I'm going to log out. And then I'm going to go to the root of the site. And the query monitor will stay up for me. And you can see here, you, this is a way for you to debug uh, the way, uh, obviously without the WordPress admin toolbar, but with this toolbar still loaded in the browser, uh, you can see that the database queries dropped a little bit uh, down to 127. I think it was a little bit higher than that before. And the page generation time down uh, slightly there. Uh, and if we go to the scripts and styles, so styles is 21 and scripts are 18, which is down uh, just a little bit. I'll have to actually go back in the video to just verify the numbers. So as a logged out user, you can see there's still a lot of stuff happening. And... Um, you know, if you're ever running into an issue where you can't debug it because you're logged into the WordPress admin, again, you can go set this sort of false authentication cookie. Like you are, it's treating it like you are logged in. So it's showing all of this data. And then you would clear that authentication cookie uh, when you want to log back in or you just want to remove uh, the query bar from loading up here. So a great tool for understanding what's happening with your WordPress plugins. And I'm demonstrating Astra as a way to show you that, number one, it's pretty darn powerful, right? We just built this awesome site in literally a couple clicks and imported all this stuff. It set up Elementor, it set up a uh, forms builder for us, did all this fun stuff. Um, but that can also be a scary thing to the untrained WordPress user. Or maybe you're taking over a client site as a consultant where they just went haywire with plugins and you're like, well, do you even need this stuff anymore? And Query Monitor will give you those insights into that uh, performance and uh, the loading scenario. So that's what I got today. It's like a public service announcement slash welcome to developing in WordPress kind of sorta. It's plugintot.com, plugintot.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this. What do you want to see on this channel? I say that all the time. I'm nearing 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool because I, I don't upload much here and I want to upload more, but I don't want to be just like every other WordPress tutorial person on YouTube. There's enough hooting and hollering. We don't need more of that stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.